Hello everybody. Well, I've got another laser test and review video for you, but it's a different kind of laser. This is the Atom Stack M4 fiber laser. As you can see, it was packaged very well. I'm not going to spend any time on that. It took about 10 minutes to set up. It's just a few screws. It pretty much comes intact. And this is what it sounds like. It's got a fairly loud fan. Not too bad though. And you can see there those two red lights. You just uh, turn the knob on the other side to overlap those and that, that puts everything in focus. And you can do stuff like that. All of the engraving that you're going to see in this video is done at real time. I usually speed things up just for, you know, viewing enjoyment, but uh, this time I find the speed of this la uh, laser to be very interesting. Now what I'm engraving on here is just calibration paper that came with the laser. just find the speed really interesting. You know, there's no gantry or anything like that. This is a, uh, it's a fiber laser. The laser is admitted from a optical fiber. That's where the laser is actually generated. Uh, I only know that because I looked it up online. But it, it's just uh, a lot faster. You don't have to worry about belts and pulleys and, and all that movement. It's all done with the lens internally. So in this manual uh, there's a few different charts for different materials and how you're using those materials. Uh, for example if you're printing text or uh, bitmap pictures or things like that it just gives you the different settings that it recommends you use. Um, so I did that. So that L-shaped bracket that you see there, that is called a positioning plate. And you stick it in place once you find the center of your target there. And it allows you to move a fresh piece in without even thinking about it. You just press it up against the two sides there and it's going to be automatically lined up. If you've got a bunch of the same things to engrave, like I've got, I don't know, 48 of these lids to do. Uh, it's just a matter of sliding a new one in, pressing the button on the machine, and go. One of the best features about this machine is the fast, repetitive work it can do. And there's no need to go back to the computer. Like I said, there's a button on this on this machine. I'll show you here in a second. Uh, you just place the piece that's going to be engraved and hit the button and it goes. There it is right there. Again, I want to show you all of the engraving at real time in this video so you get a, a, a true feel for how it's working. I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but these are stainless steel uh, jar lids. And they've got a texture on them, so it didn't take the engraving well. So I just uh, used a little bit of flat spray paint. Worked like a charm. By the way, you'll see my hand pass under the, the beams like that, but I'm not going to do that when it's actually engraving. Even though they do say it's a cold laser. Now this is just a little box that I keep my SD cards in when I'm moving from the workshop back to the office so I can do my editing. Um, standard, uh, I don't know, plastic, the type of stuff you'd find on any uh, plug or, or that sort of thing.
It's a really nice engraving on this. Real time. One of the things about this machine is that you have to use the the CCAD program that it comes with. It's a free program, but my goodness, there's a learning curve. <laughs> wow. I think this plastic was just a little bit too soft. Now this is an aluminum tag similar to the ones that I use on the bottom of my uh, wood turning projects. I've had a lot of inquiries about those and I believe I'm going to start making them. Uh, we'll see how much interest I get. but. Uh, I'm using one of my fellow wood turners as a test subject. We'll see how he likes them. Louie, you'll have to let me know. But that was just uh, plain aluminum. I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, you lose the engraving look in the, uh, in the light a little bit. So I decided to put some paint on it and give it another shot. Again, I want to emphasize this is real time. It's going a little bit slower this time because I slowed it down in the program. I really like how it turned out with the paint. I hope you like them, Louie. I made you 25. <laughs> uh, I couldn't stop. One of the big features of this is uh, going handheld with it. You can pull it off the base and put it up against a wall or you know whatever you want to engrave. Hold it up there, hit the button, and uh, and you go. The problem with this is that if you move even the slightest little bit. If you breathe too heavily, and this this thing adjusts, um, well, it's going to show in the engraving, and I'll show you an example of that right now. Right there. Just the slightest little bit of movement just ruined the engraving. Now, this is an easy fix, an easy fix that should be done at the factory level. Just maybe add uh, some rubber boots or something down there, and also add a a tightening bolt or two up on top there so you can tighten it to the lens housing. I want to show you another feature and that is this has an access panel that you can remove on the base and you can uh, just simply move it over top of a target or if you had something uh, taller you could uh, oh, elevate the, the M4 and like stick the base of it up through that hole and engrave that way. You can see when I first started this that it was not engraving. Well, that's because it wasn't focused properly. I thought I had the uh, lights overlapped, but as it turned out, there was uh, there's a little bit of a deviation there, so I had to manually adjust uh, the targeting laser or targeting beam. Uh, wasn't too difficult, it was just a matter of uh, unscrewing some bolts uh, on the access cover and then uh, loosening a couple bolts, adjusting the beam, tightening them back up and putting the cover back on. Super simple. Honestly, I don't know if it came from the factory that way or if I had bumped it at some point uh, to knock that off a little bit. I don't think I did that, but uh, like I said, it was an easy fix. Not a big deal. And this is some anodized aluminum. Uh, just business cards that come in different colors. And uh, I thought my buddy over at Awesome Cars Forever would like some uh, interesting business cards to give out. So I gave this a shot. 
turned out pretty good. I'll show you some different colors uh, towards the end here. Yeah, if you like cars, go check this channel out. Okay, so my goal with these test and review videos is to give you as much information as I can within my own abilities. I'm pretty much a novice at this stuff, but if I can figure it out, you can. All of the technical data is going to be in the uh, video description, so give that a look. I'll put a link to the company. I'll also include an Amazon store link and a discount code uh, once it's available. So make sure you check out the video description. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Until next time, God bless and Semper Fi.